Yo, what's up guys? This is S Production Games and this is a new series in which we are going to develop a game from scratch. So any of you that never done it before and are interested, come on man, hop on board. It's gonna be fun. Um what we're gonna do we're gonna be using Java. So if any of you guys already have been working on Java, hey, it might be a fun ride. Okay, um, but one thing I want to make sure is uh this is gonna be doing some programming. This is this is gonna be heavy programming. So um if you have zero experience in programming, I suggest you you know kinda get a little touch up on it. Um I can recommend you the new Boston. He does a pretty good job you know introducing you to Java and other programming languages and once you get a hang of it and understand that, that concept how it works, then you can come back over here and then you know you we can you can hop on board with us and work together as you know me I'm not really expert at this either I'm still learning you know I, I've, I've been going to videos like uh, the train old fun guy Mike you know New Boston like I said earlier it's, another, it's, it's a, a couple of others but I don't remember their names and I haven't really followed them too much but um that's how I've been learning mainly you know I've been doing their, following their tutorials and then um and then kind of try to do my own thing with it and and it's been going pretty good, and I've been learning a lot, and and I'm just trying this 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 new project here to see, cause uh I wanted to engage in something that helped me um continue to learn while while I have fun. So just trying this out, cause I know doing this, you guys give me input that increase my knowledge, and at the same time I could be teaching you guys things that you guys don't know. So hey, I see that working great. But today we're gonna to start real simple, and we're gonna cover the the beginning aspects. For those beginners, we're gonna try to go through this real quick. Um, first thing first, if you don't, if you never, you know, have Java, tried any Java games or anything like that from scratch or anything like that, then um, we're gonna get this stuff out of the way first. First, you're gonna make sure you have the Java Development Kit (JDK), and we're gonna get the most recent, so we can follow along with me right now. Let's go open this up right here. I might have the link on there too. So, you know, anyways, I'll just show you real quick. So, I just need to go Google. All right, let's do Google. All right, let's put JDK. Boom, look at that. I think eight is the most recent one. So, let's do that. And boom, then oracle.com. This is what the development kit. And you see this, you're going to accept the agreement. And you're going to make sure, I don't know what you guys have, you know, if you guys are using Linux, Mac, or Windows or this other one, I don't know what that is, but um, pick pick which one you you are. And um, quick thing for me, like I have Windows, I was kind of stuck because one time I think I downloaded the X64 because I knew mine was 64 bit, but um, but when I go here, my computer, open this up, program five is x86. So when I realized that, oh shoot, that's what I got. So I went over here and downloaded that one, and everything started working. So you got to get that, and install it. Once you have that installed, you're going to want to go here to my computer, right click my computer, go to properties, and then um, you see advanced setting. You're going to click on there, and then right over here, in environment variables, you're going to click on that. And now you're going to set the path. You're going to do edit, not edit, you're going to do new, and in all caps. You're gonna put path, and then you're gonna put the path of of your thing right here. You see this? So it, you see where I have it? And then to see program files Java JDK 1.8, then bin. So make sure you have all this thing here. Once you have that, you, so if you do new, it's right here. So you'd be doing path here. Let me show you path, and then you do the other the 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 um, thing down there, and then you're done. Once you once you got that done. You, you click OK. I'm not clicking OK because I don't want to mess up anything I got here. So click OK, and you're good to go. Then now next, you're gonna hurry up and go get um not hurry up. It's no rush. I'm rushing. Um, you're gonna get Eclipse. So let's go to back to Google and just type in Eclipse, and boom. This is already. This is this is the IDE I'm using. Well, actually, you can use whatever you're comfortable with. I know other people use the Notepad Plus, the um, NetBeans. You can use any of those that you desire. So, 
I'm using Eclipse. That's what I got used to. First, I got used to uh, NetBeans, but then all of a sudden, once I got on this, it was like I can't go back. But anyways, you go here, click on download, click on download. Okay, there we go. Now, here you go for going for Java developers. So this is this is what you're gonna pick. Now make sure for Windows, you gonna make sure you get the right one. Find out which one yours is 32 bit, 64 bit, and get that. Once you get that, you can develop work workspace. And hope that get, hope that works. So right here, I'm gonna stop real quick, and then uh, we'll be back real quick. We are back. Okay, so now we got that stuff handled. You got you should have Eclipse and everything, and hopefully your Eclipse should identify that you have Java. Once that's good, you should be all good and running well. And let me open Eclipse now. Bada bang, bada boom. All right, now we're gonna choose workspace. I have multiple workspaces, but uh, you can use the default one. It's fine. I'm go to browse. I'm gonna make it go to a new one, which is gonna be public game. This one I got. So workspace here. Okay. 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 Now you have Eclipse open. Now what we're gonna do first? Go to preferences. General. We're gonna go to um let me see what's that editors text editors make sure you have show line numbers check I already got that check so okay oh you know what? then you want to make sure you have navigator open so you go to the show view you don't have to have this one but this is what I prefer um navigator is good here you have that there I have that here and then what else gonna do um let me think let me think let me think um back to preferences. For me, so, so you guys can see, we're gonna go to the um, fonts. We're gonna go to Java Editor Text Font here, and this was originally set at 10. I'm setting it at 14, so the words can be big. You click OK, apply. All right, everything's good. Now we're gonna start. Now navigate. This is what we're gonna do. You can go File and New Project, or you can just right click. I'm just right click here. It's easy. New job project. We're gonna call it simple game. That's what we're doing right now. It's gonna be a simple game. And then <clears throat> let's get it started. So we're gonna do project simple game. All right, so the game is done, and let's go to source. I'm gonna open a new class. Right, let's do folder first. We gotta do um, com. Here we do another folder again. What? Right click new folder. What the hell I'm doing? I don't know. I'm gonna do S production. That's what I'm gonna do right there. Finish. Now we're here we're gonna go to create a new class. This is where we finally get down. New class. We can call this game. This is gonna be the main thing that runs the program, runs the game. So we call it game. Alright. Boom. Look at them. See them big old fonts. I hope you guys see this really well. Um. All right. Public class game. This is what we're gonna do. First thing we need is the main method. You know, if you don't have the main method, it, the game will not run. So let's do the main method. So we're gonna do public static void. A public static main. No oh void. And string. We're gonna do this. Args. Argus. Oh, it is void, huh? Huh, it was. <laughs> I was wrong. Look at this already. Messing up. 
Alright, so see that's why I like Eclipse. It helps me out because I'm still struggling with the damn syntax, which is bad. But um this is gonna help me. <laughs> Alright, so the main method, this is what you need to run the program. If you don't have this program when I run. And this this run for each program. So um since we're making a game, the game needs one main function. If you don't have this, you have problems. So first thing we're gonna do is we need the screen, right? So we're gonna be using JFrame. So let's do J frame and we gotta call it something. We're gonna call it display. Let's keep it all lowercase. J frame display equals new J frame. And we're gonna give it the game title. It's just simple game. Alright. And let's put the semicolon there. Boom. Now you see how the under J frame is red. It's because we haven't imported it. So here we go. Import J frame. Ba down. Now we're good. So we got that down. Now since we called this JFrame display, now we're gonna add features to our JFrame call display. So display dot uh, what we're gonna do set operation. No, not operation. It's set close. No, set default close operation and then we're gonna do here is um exit on close oh yeah, now I get it I forget I put J frame and ba damn now that's looking good alright so this thing you need here to make the game to close it if you don't have this it won't close so you, that's gonna be problems you know so um the next thing we're gonna do display dot set resizable and we're gonna say that's true now this is also needed to resize the program I might disable this later but right now to show something I'm gonna leave it true and the next thing is continue display dot set no 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 not focus set visible there you go visible and we're gonna set that to true now you need that because if you don't put this in there the game will run but it won't be visible <laughs> so well, that's all we got here let's press the run and see what we got so far Okay. Oh, it's right here. Oh, this little thing right here. Let me see. Can I move it to the middle? Give me a second. Ah, yeah. There we go. Now you see, since we ain't set no size to it, it's set the smallest size, which only shows the the minimum box, the max, and the x, the closest box. So um, but luckily, since we have resizable to true, we can just resize it. Bow down. Now this is our screen. We got it. And you see what we called the J frame? Gave it a title simple game. It's right here. Isn't that cool? So we got the screen here. We got no set size yet, but we will have a set size. So we're gonna be on the next video. So this is gonna be the first thing we got done here. Hope you guys like that. You know, we got the screen now, but yet nothing else. We're just getting started. This is just the beginning. I'm pretty sure. Those who already have done some Java game from scratch kind of be like, this might be really useless video for you since you probably already know these things. But this is for the beginners that don't know it. And um, hopefully, you know, remember this stuff because this stuff is necessary. Um, next video, we're going to um, add the buffering and all that stuff. Things are going to get a little more complicated there. And hopefully, I'll be able to explain it quickly and well enough for you guys to understand. Um, like and subscribe the video if you guys like what you see you know what I'm saying if you want to continue with me you know keep an eye out you know I have new videos coming real soon and thank you guys for watching